In 1997, Thrust SSC became the fastest vehicle on land. It had the power of a thousand Ford Escorts and travelled at over 700 miles an hour. Now, to achieve this, it required two turbojets with enormous amounts of thrust, not to mention the thousands of man-hours and years of dedication to design and build it. Most of this, of course, is out of reach of the ordinary man. But as with most science, the principles remain the same. So, today, we may not break any land speed records, but we might break some brainiacs. Taking our inspiration from jet engines, which provide thrust, we've kitted each of these trolleys out with a different type of extinguisher. Trolley 1 has water. Trolley 2 has foam. And trolley 3 has CO2. Our experiment today is to find out which of these engines is going to do the best job of transporting us down this runway. Now, I'm tipping the CO2, so I'll have that one, and the Brainiacs can have the other two. was fantastic and pretty decisive. I think we've established once and for all that CO2 is the best means of powering our trolleys. It is the way forward. And in this modern age in which we live, the search for alternative means of transport goes on. And we at Brainiac believe it must go on. And so today we're going to be combining the results of this experiment with our desire to move people in new and interesting ways. Join us later as we find out which of these is the fastest thing powered by hot air since Tony Blair's victory speech. Earlier in the show, we established using science that CO2 is the best means of powering our shopping trolleys. The other two were left for dead. They used foam and water to little effect. Losers! Throughout the show, we're continuing our experiment to find different ways of moving people using CO2-powered devices. The humble roller skate has been around for years, but you probably haven't seen a pair quite like this. We've rigged them so the CO2 will be expelled from the fields. All our Brainiac has to do is stay upright. <laughs> So, 16.2 metres with an average speed of 420 metres per hour. Will a modified skateboard perform any better? Three, two, one. Too much power and not enough control on its inaugural run, but the second produced a better result. meters with an average speed of 318 meters per hour. Further, but not as fast as the roller skates. Next to be tested, a trusty office chair. It's much heavier, so to make things fair, we've fitted it with a twin cylinder engine. Two, one. Twenty-nine point seven. 
29.7 meters and with a blistering average speed of 540 meters per hour, it's our office chair that leads the way. We'll return to the Brainiac test track later in the show to run our final test. Today, we've been experimenting with CO2 as a means of propulsion by attaching it to various things with wheels. We've attached canisters to a pair of roller skates, a skateboard, and to the current leader in our test, the office chair, which travelled 29.7 metres, reaching an average speed of 540 metres per hour. We've got one more vehicle to test in our search for an alternative form of transport that doesn't rely on fossil fuel. This is the twin-cylinder wheelchair. Three, two, one. Not the most promising start to our transport revolution, but it showed enough potential to warrant another go. 29.7 metres is still the distance to beat. No need for tape measures by a country mile. Our experiment has shown that CO2-powered wheelchairs could well be the future of transportation.